Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having yourself a wonderful uh, day as well as a great uh, weekend. In today's video, we'll be reacting to a uh, The Power of uh, uh, Words by Muhammad uh, Qatani. The video was uh, suggested by Abdullah. Thank you very much for sending me your recommendation and suggestion. For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time, I'd like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel. I upload videos every day, so if you guys like the content, as well as the channel and want to be part of this journey then please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on so you're notified when any video is uploaded stay tuned guys we'll be right back welcome back guys we're going to get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video i'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end with that said we're going to get started with our first video of the day What? All you all think smoking kills? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you know that the amount of people dying from diabetes are three times as many people dying from smoking? Yet if I pulled a snicker bar, nobody would say anything. Do you know that the leading cause of lung cancer is that actually a oh, cigarette? Wow. It's your DNA. You could smoke for years and nothing will ever happen to you. This whole war against smoking is just to restrict the farming of tobacco. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I use these arguments, <laughs> even though I just made them up. With a group of my friends. Wow. And the results? Five of them believed what I said. <laughs> Two of them started smoking. That's right. Words, when said and articulated in the right way, can change someone's mind. They can alter someone's belief. You have the power to bring someone from the slums of life and make a successful person out of them or destroy someone's happiness using only your words. Does that seem a bit too good to be true? A simple choice of word can make a difference between someone accepting or denying your message. You can have a very beautiful thing to say, but say it in the wrong words and it's gone. I have a son who's four. And he had this bad habit of writing on the walls with crayons. And one evening I walked into his room and he's going at it, just writing and drawing and so on. And I said, hey, 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 hey. Are you stupid? Oh, wow. Don't you ever do that again. And guess what happened? He did it again. Nobody likes to be threatened. Nobody likes to be intimidated. His pride would not allow it. He did it again just to spite me. A week later, I walked into his room and again, he's going at it. And this time, he was even looking at me just... I came down and I said, sweetie, come here. Don't do that, you're a big boy now. Wow. And he never did it again. Because his pride wants him to be the big boy. Have you ever wondered why nobody cares about global warming, even though it's a very serious issue? It could kill all of us. Because when you go home and you flip on the TV, and you see a scientist trying to talk about global warming, it goes something like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as, as, I mean, as you can see from the graphs here, the statistics for, for 2014, it shows the water level is rising. 
this uh, this table shows that the monodioxic level in the third ozone layer is in a very alarming position. The message never get across. But most importantly, if you are a person who's a role model, if you are a person who's been admired, anything you say could be believed. Anything you utter could be taken as truth. My friend Nasser, he loved his father, idealized his father. He would do anything to make him happy. But his father was the kind of person who's not easy to impress. And year after year, Nasser tried, and his father was like, yeah. Fourth year in college, Nasser got straight A's. And he thought to himself, this is it. This is what will finally make my dad proud. He picked up the phone, he called his dad, Dad, I got straight A's. Are you proud? Please tell me you're proud, Father. Yeah, listen, son, I'll have to call you back. I'm busy. Uh. I'm busy was the single sentence that broke the camel's back. And he started drinking, doing drugs, hanging out with the wrong crowd. Now, so why? Why are you throwing your life away? If the one person in the world that I care about the most doesn't care, then, then why should I? And one evening I got the phone call. Nasser's in the emergency room. Drug overdose. I rushed to that hospital. I saw him on that bed. And I saw that machine go beep, beep. And I saw doctors try to bring him back to life. Clear! 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 It's clear that a single word could have saved this life. Words have power. Words are power. Words could be your power. You can change a life, inspire a nation, and make a, this world a beautiful place. Isn't that what we all wanted? Isn't that what we are all in this hall? Your mouth can spit venom, or it can mend a broken soul. Ladies and gentlemen, let that be our goal. Come to share. All right, let's hear from our first place winner, Mohammed. <laughs> I did not know it's this big. Ladies and gentlemen, when we did the semifinals, and I won, they asked me to say something, and I said, honestly, I didn't prepare anything because I did not expect to win. And I'm coming here today, and again, I did not expect to win. But I want you to think about what are your challenges. And what are the things that you think is impossible? Because this was impossible. Not just for me, but for almost everybody who knows me. And yet here is. I don't want to say it again, but if I can do this, think about that thing that you thought you could never do. Or you just gave up on because Maybe it's way up ahead and I cannot do it. And when you do, I want you to remember that Muhammad Katani got this. And, sure, and, and also you can do the same. Thank you. Wow, 
Mashallah, guys. The brother had a really, really good uh, speech, and I agree with him. That's why uh, the Prophet Sallam said, uh, "Speak good." Or don't say anything and uh, one thing that I came at one of my works a guy said that always sticked around to me was um, honey gather more flies than vinegar so for example if you put vinegar out the flies don't come but if you put honey the sweetness of honey brings it so similarly if our speech is sweet we gather more people but if like he said like our speech and our words are like venom or like vinegar it's, uh, it's sour and bitter and pushes people away people would go away so it's really really important that like he said words are really really powerful although we not, might not feel it but it could be you know like a knife in somebody's back or in their body and uh, we have to be really really careful at what we say because they say the tongue or like the mouth uh, the mouth is like a bullet once the word comes you cannot take it back and uh, subhanallah it's really really uh, it's good speech that uh, he gave and mashallah, it's uh, awesome that he took uh, first place and it's a great uh, reminder so I appreciate you guys suggesting this uh, video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you want me to check out another video please put in the comment section below as always guys thank you very much for all uh, your love and support I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and inshallah I'll see you guys in the next video take care